everybody. It's Monica from Pear Tree Treasures and I'm here today to share with you a few tips about cutting chipboard for your chipboard projects or for using in combination with the any of your dally cutters or any other cutter for that matter. What I want to share with you guys is if you're starting out a project, okay, I want just for everyone to know that no piece of chipboard is ever the same and it's never exactly 12 inches by 12 inches. So I'm just putting this out there for a few people. Now I'm going to just show you because I'm going to be doing a lot of chipboard heavy projects and I thought I'm just going to put this up here so everybody knows where I'm coming from. Okay. So what I've done with my dolly cutter here is I set it up at 12 inches right here and I just use my guide. Okay. And so it's exactly 12 inches. So I'm just going to show you the difference. Okay. I just literally pulled this out of the pack and if you hold this against this guide and make sure your pressure is pushing, sorry, let me do it here a little bit and you make sure your pressure is pushing like you don't have to push it when you hold it down you'll see that this is how 12 inches looks fresh out of the pack so I have literally taken that much off okay of this piece so moving forward from now on if I'm doing a project with you guys with chipboard because I've had a few questions and they're like why isn't this going together and I'm like I have no idea so it's supposed to go together and um I don't know why. So I've come to the grand conclusion that I should just let everyone know in advance. Okay, just make sure. See, and this one was off a little bit. So I didn't take a lot off. Again, whatever cutter you're using, use the same cutter as well through the entire project. Because every cutter is different, right? Like some of them, some people move things right to the line. Some people put it right on the line. Say if it's a Fisker's cutter. So like this cutter here. Okay. So you got your marks here on your Fisker's cutter. Let's see if we can get this to zoom in here. Okay. So some people put it right on the line. You're supposed to put it just to the right of the line for future reference. Okay. But some people don't do that. And when you are putting together projects that you want to fit together perfectly, Okay, that's what you want done. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you. So this one I already squared up. And what I do before I do projects that are chipboard heavy, um, which is the project I'm going to be working on next, is going to be the dresser trunk. Okay, so basically I always square up my entire pack of chipboard as soon as I crack it open. So this guy, this site's good on this piece. I may have already done this one. I did one already. Let's see. Nope, I didn't do this one. So you guys can see it a little bit maybe where my finger is here, but you'll see I am literally taking that's a pretty good chunk. So right? It's under a sixteenth of an inch. But when you're doing a project, that sixteenth of an inch or under is gonna throw off your entire project. Okay. So just letting you guys know that's a little tip from me. I'm going to finish this one piece. And again, I think I, this is the one I must have already done. Okay. And I can see that this is the piece I've already done. So, yeah. I'm going to just be. Yep, this piece I've already Okay. Also, I'm going to show you guys an extra tip too with this dolly cutter. So, if you need to do one inch strips. Okay, or three eighths of an inch strips or anything with this dolly cutter. You can see right here, there's a guard and this is what locks the paper in. Okay, so you're not going to get past two inches. That's where you're going to be able to put your paper. And if you put it up, to, if it's two inches exactly, it's going to slide past where your numbers are and you're not going to get a correct measurement. So really two and two and a quarter is right about your cutoff point where you can see the line and line it up properly. Okay. So moving forward from now on, if ever I say you're using your dolly cutter, 
I'm going to move this to my 11 inch mark. And you don't have to use the guide line. I'm just showing you guys that it, it does help you because it helps you line it up at the top. You just push on the top and then you can butt it up against that. I set it for 11 inches. So now I can get a one inch strip out of that. So if I'm ever doing a project with you guys, make sure. So I'll give you an example. Um, here's an example. Okay. So when I'm doing a project and this is how you're going to get it, cut these strips first all the time. If you're using a dolly cutter, any other kind of cutter, or if you're using a blade and a ruler, of course, it is good to do this and make this a practice because you have more to hold on to when you're cutting. Okay. So I'll show you what I mean. So for example, See, I need to cut this piece here into a half inch strip because this is one inch piece. If I do this and I hold my ruler here, sure, I can get it there. Okay. But now you're, you're having to hold your finger real close to the edge of the ruler and you might slip. And if you manhandle things like me, stop, 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 stop. You don't want to do that. Okay. So now if you're cutting a one inch strip off of here, you can either mark your edges. So let's say I'm going to mark this at one here and one. And again, this is a quilting ruler that I use and I just do this and then I have my line. Okay. Then I can hold it down on this side and I have lots to hold on to. So I can hold the ruler more comfortably. I can hold the chipboard at the same time. It works well for paper too, people, right? It's not just chipboard, but if, the reason I'm telling you this with chipboard is because, oh, there's a ghosty in my house. The door just opened because you're going to be using more force. Okay. You don't have to go through it all at once, but you're using more force. So you're able to hold the ruler and the chipboard at the same time. Okay. And there it is. All right. And you can put your whole hand there, but you're keeping your fingers away from the cutting blade. Okay. And it's also easy for you to handle easier if you have the whole thing. So if you're like me and you manhandle things, you can put your whole hand here. You can put the ruler there. It's not going to move because you're butting it up against your fingers here. Right. And you can cut and nothing's going to move. Okay. So, that was just a quick tip for you guys. Okay, happy crafting. Signing off, Monica from Pear Tree Treasures.